And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Orzov Control. That's right, we have uh, another donation deck that we're going to be playing here. So we're going to be playing it through a league uh, where we're going to see if we can win five before we lose two. We got a, a deck here built around uh, just removal spells, good card sweepers, and some awesome finishers at the top end. We're playing uh, some very fair magic here. Uh, with our control deck, you know, no counter spells. We're just playing removal, sweepers, and bombs. That's what we got. So yeah, it's Orzov off control. Uh, removal spells. There's not a lot of great two mana removal these days, but Noxious Grasp is really good against so many decks. And so we're actually playing two Noxious Grasp main deck, even though it's uh, just for against a green and white um, permanents. There, like you know, creatures and planeswalkers. Kind of same thing with the Spark. The Spark has just tons of uh, targets, but you know, if we play against like mono red, that's all three and less, like maybe you know, or something like that, you know, like maybe our Noxious Grasp and our Sparks are dead cards, but hopefully not. Um, you know, Mortify. There's there's definitely enchantments running around and creatures. We kill with that. Murderous Rider, of course, is awesome. Um, Kai, we got one Kaya Orzov Usurper, Usurper, but yeah, one Kaya. I'm not sure how good Kaya is going to be. I'm interested to play it out in here, see if it uh, is impressive at all or anything. I think for Kaya to really be good, there has to be a lot of one mana cards that you want to exile. Uh, these days, you're you know you're talking about like Edgewall Innkeeper is a really good quality one there, and then of course the aggro decks. You know, like even like your Flash has um, the the blue one drop that I am missing the name Spectral Sailor. Yeah, Spectral Sailor. I think that's it. And then, you know, Mono Red obviously has a bunch there. Um, Knight of the Ebon Legion is just a really powerful card. If you, you know, you play against a Knight of the Ebon Legion, get to exile that. So there's definitely one drops around, of course, like Witch's Oven, uh, Cauldron Familiar, that combo. Um, so, you know, there's there's definitely some good one drops around. And so we'll see how good Kaya is. But then other matchups that are going bigger that are not playing one drops, Kaya could be kind of a dead card for you. Um <clears throat> or you're just trying to do like the the minus five basically um let's see uh besides that and then you know we got our sweepers with ritual soot kaya's wrath all right so be so that's kind of like our removal stuff now besides that one of our top end cards we have our, our two like six mana planeswalkers which are both just really powerful planeswalkers with the ugin and liliana but besides that this is a bull of citadel back to be able to churn through the deck also. So with Bola Citadel, we're gonna to want to have a good amount of life gain. So we got our three Othakayas that just gain life and our four Basilica Bell Haunts. Now, as you can tell, that's not very much. There's playing a control deck, we're not gonna have too much life gain, but hopefully we can just get to, get to play a few spells for free with the Citadel and be able to turn the corner that route. Also, a card that works just incredibly well with Citadel is, of course, Doom Whisper. You can see like what your top card of your library is with Citadel, and you can play it if you want. Um, if it's like other cards that you don't want at all, you can use Doom Whisper to help uh, dig through your library and find something that you want, and then cast it with Citadel. So we'll see how our deck does. That's what our deck's all about. Here we go. Let's play it through a league. Let's see if we can get to five wins with Orzov Control. <laughs> yeah, you do take a lot of, you know, Citadel makes you lose a lot of life, and Doom Whisper makes you lose lots of life. So, um, ideally, we would have even more life gain available here than what we got. But, yep, Kaya, yeah, Kaya can tick up and gain life if Kaya exiles a creature from the graveyard as well. One lander means mulligan I think I want to keep the four lands so I think we want to I'll, I want to get rid of a, either Dispark or Noxious Grasp so what do y'all feel which one's going to be the dead card <laughs> are they playing Oko or are they playing Fires of Invention we'll get rid of Dispark because Dispark's a card, like, even if Dispark has a hit, you don't need to spark until, like, a lot, lot later. Cool, yeah, y'all said drop Dispark as well. I 
Thoughts on Dawn of Hope? I, I kind of feel like Dawn of Hope's just too slow. Basically. Yeah, I kind of think it's just too slow, but... You know, maybe, maybe I'm supposed to be playing Dawn of Hope. You know, just like a copy or two. Blue white flyers. Okay, okay. The Orzov Angel, yeah. I I went with Yes, yeah, Sarah for the scales, that's definitely an option. I went with Basilica Bell Haunt for the life link there, but um That's definitely an option also. Kinda did that to be able to like see their hand and everything. So they got Guard Mage is really good. We got triple Imperion Eagle. That's a weird time to just cast a, a winged words because you just have to go to discard now. I guess they're looking for a land drop. The eagle, eagles need to start honking now, or, the, or at least on April 1st. Get him. Gotta get that one point in. Love it. Gotta get that one point in. Um, we could gain a life if we play Kaya's Wrath. As opposed to Ritual of Set right now, but then we don't kill this elite guard mage. That's fine. We don't really need to kill guard mage. Let's gain that life. Yeah, it definitely could have gone Liliana minus. I was hoping to be able to just untap and play Liliana on a clean board. Oh gosh, do I want a Citadel? That, that's, that was like my plan was to go like Sweeper, Noxious Grass, play Liliana on a clean board and start ticking up. No, let's go, let's go Liliana. Rise. Rude. Ugh, looks like you're on your own now. Well, we got a bunch of Mortifies and the Sparks somewhere. I don't know where. Could be anywhere, really. Okay, that's not a card I was expecting to see. <laughs> I'm gonna make you suffer. So that card, I kind of wish I would have kept Kaya's Wrath. I was expecting them to be a lot more aggressive. Sphinx of New Prawn? New Prov? Alright, so I, I should have cast the Ritual of Set earlier and kept Kaya's Wrath. Getting punished for that, for sure. Getting really punished for that. I have so many big birds. I'll be back. Just you wait.
Why did they block? Three. I require servants. Your corpse will volunteer. From battle to the grave. Dead. They were a lousy servant anyway. From Maximian. Okay. We're still alive. Still alive. I've learned much from your death. Smelly, but effective. My flank. We're still alive. All right, I think we're. I think we are stabilizing. Looks like it. What a good mindless minion. Looks like we're stabilizing. I'm <laughs> far less confident in the I'm still alive. All right. We did it. That one was looking a little sketch. But never fear. Bolus's Citadel is here. Own bare hands with the tier one sub. I'll get some hype in the chat for our new sub. Thank you so much there. I appreciate that. No, this is not going to be a match for Gideon. Gideon is going to be whenever our opponent's not playing creatures. That's whenever we're going to be bringing Gideon against like control decks that don't have creatures. <clears throat> Dispark is like something that we could play. I'm not sure if I want three Legion's End and a Ritual of Soot from like what our opponent played. I'm going to play an extra to Spark and cut a Legion's End. Play a Noxious Grasp, cut a Legion's End. I'll go with that. I'll still have the one Legion's End. Yeah, there are four Temple of Silences. They're probably off screen. There's probably too many lands to, to be on the screen. It's probably underneath. But yeah, there's four Temple of Scrylance in the deck. Hey, CVSAC. Yeah, perfect timing. Yeah, so we just we just won our first game. You missed a good game. We just won our first game with, with Orzov. Missed a real good game, though. Just start. Is it best to buy packs or do drafts? You get better value doing drafts, but it's harder to build a collection of it's harder to get the exact cards that you want. So if there if there are exact cards that you want, um I can play the Scour Barons on turn four. I'll just play right now. <clears throat> Also, like drafting is a drafting is a great way to get better at magic. Also, if you want to take the time and, and draft, it's it's a really good way to to get a lot better at magic. Honestly, you'll take your lumpses and everything. 
you know, you'll probably take your lumps and, and everything drafting, but it's a, it's a really good way to improve. And learn all the cards and all that kind of stuff. How am I killing this thing? But if you like standard, if you want, if you want to, you know, like build, build like your standard deck and be able to play your standard deck over and over and, and, you know, like really learn it and all that kind of stuff, that's a great way to get better also. And if that's your goal, then buying packs is a better way to, to it's a better thing to do because then you earn more wild cards buying packs so you can get the exact cards that you want. <laughs> yeah, Murder's Rider is so good. Yeah, I think you're in a pretty good spot whenever you just like look at your entire hand and you're like, how should I kill this thing? <laughs> I have infinite removal spells. Which one should I use? Probably in a good spot. More birdies. I'll play Noxious Grass so I, so I can still have Dispark available. No, blue white, blue. Uh, sorry, blue white flyers is definitely not a terrible deck. I think our opponent's uh, going on a, on um, like they're playing basically like a budget version, a, a version that's not as good as as normal. They're playing a lot bigger than what they should be. A lot of five and six mana cards they really shouldn't be playing. But I think that Azorius Skies, I would recommend Azorius Skies for best of one. Um, if You know, we, we, we did the YouTube video of that about two weeks ago now. Um, of the Azorius Skies and best of one. And, and it was a, it's a real good best of one deck. <laughs> I didn't even realize that castle was going to come into play tapped. Don't have any swamps. I didn't really realize that. Negate. That's fine. I don't need either of those. I'm just gonna let it resolve. I need to keep taking more damage. All right, so we're gonna mortify the Sphinx. Basically, anything we draw here is like reasonable, and you know we'll have the Doom Whisper later on. We'll be able to surveil later. Yeah, Vilas is just a little too expensive. Maybe if maybe if Vilas was like six man instead of eight. Uh 
Which one are you taking? Which one are you gonna get? That one. I was hoping they were gonna take Bell Hunt. I could like mortify this and make them discard their last card with Bell Hunt. I'm just gonna take the damage here. I'm just gonna Kaya's Wrath. Otherwise, we're like, you know, like we're never casting Kaya's Wrath if I don't cast it here, basically. I thought they kept that card on top. Bird. Go down to twelve. Curiosity and wonder drive civilization. No. Secrets manifest before you. If we ever really need to pick up the Othakaya, we can with you know, by just like killing it. Deck did its thing. I should update this carrot. Right here, Orzov control. We are one and O. Oh. Okay. Maybe we need to start. Maybe it need to be streaming from, you know, I, I have been streaming from 3 to 10 every single day. Maybe it needs to be 1 to 10. So we actually have time to play four decks. <laughs> Started two hours early today. Format so slow. So we are playing a couple control decks these last two decks. No, I do not know anything about programming whatsoever. <laughs> Just stream 24 seven. Uh, I am I am very hungry though. I had a chicken salad sandwich earlier today and some strawberries, but I am going to, whenever we get done with this league, I am gonna be eating a bunch of food. I got some chicken, Alfredo pasta that I have in the fridge that I'm going to warm up. It's going to be glorious. Trust me. You'll thank me later. It's a lot of different colors over there. I'll protect you. <clears throat> now what? Thankfully, Kaya took the oath. He's like, I promised to keep Teferi off of the battlefield. Like, Thanks, Kaya. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Trust me, I have a plan. That's more like it. That's okay, hey, track and wait. Trying another mono red. Um I am not planning on playing mono red right now. Hey Mafu. 
that's that's always better when it's like that. But yeah, doing pretty good today. Doing good. Basilica Bell Haunt. Yeah, get rid of that island. This might be a bad idea. I think that's the only land in the graveyard. Oh no, it's not the only land in the graveyard. I was gonna make a comment on how lonely that island looked, but I guess it has another land over there to hang out with it. <laughs> the not so lonely island. Alright, so I can Othakaya the Krasis and Othakaya this 2-2, two, two, and then attack Teferi for 3. Or I can just slam Citadel. Those are the two options. Um, Citadel could, of course, whiff, and then they could, like, bounce Krasis. I'm not crazy about Krasis getting bounced. Better not growth spiral. Or have another have seen fertile coming. footsteps. They could have fertile footsteps since and speed too. Could have got me. Yeah, so now yeah, we have more life now with Citadel, plus we can we get to play the first land off the top. You know, like if it's if it's a land immediately, because when you go land Citadel, it's kind of rough. Mm. I don't want to play Kaya's Wrath yet. Ether itself serves me. All right, we'll just draw that. <clears throat> There's the growth spiral I talked about last turn. Yeah, Noxious Grass main deck works so far. Two for two. Two decks that Noxious Grass was good against. It's kind of good against everything. Oh, yeah. If our opponent plays Agent of Treachery, they can go eat a pie or something. I don't know. That'd be mean, playing Agent of Treachery. <laughs> yep, we got the Wombats playing. We're still at 25. Opponent scoops them up. That's it, they're done. Hmm. So they're playing Fires of Invention. So if we play the Ashiox, which we should definitely do, I think it's like, what am I cutting? Dress seems like it's probably pretty good. What am I getting rid of? I mean, Kaya is going. I guess one Othakaya is going. That Othakaya taking out Teferi was really nice, though. But maybe I just don't rely on that. Do we not play to Spark? Like, what are what are the other cards that I'm cutting? Like. I like Ritual of Soot more than Legion's... I don't know. Legion's End's also awesome. I think we can probably cut a Soot. Oh, no. We need to Spark. 
Yeah, maybe we do just get rid of both, even though it was pretty clutch getting rid of the Teferis. Maybe we do just get rid of both. Okay. I do not, Sydney dude. Nope. Just all arena all the time. Yeah, I'm sure my opponent is playing Golos. Like, they're absolutely playing Golos and to search, and I would... I would not be surprised if they're playing circuitous route either. I would I'd be shocked if they do not have circuitous route. I guess I should say it that way. I need land, but I also need Ashiok. I guess I'll just keep the land. Whoa, Gare with a huge cheer. Just went 7-0 in the metagame challenge i wanted to share the hype that is some hype right there thank you so much i really appreciate that thank you That is awesome. Sorry I'm late. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. All right, so I do not have... Huh. Don't have the way to kill this Teferi right away. I mean, I have the Murderous Rider. I don't have the Othakai's anymore. Um, so if I if I play Swamp and hold up Murderous Rider, then Castle is going to be coming in to play Tapped, so we won't have Bell Haunt the next turn. I think that's okay. I think that's okay. We don't need to have Bell Haunt next turn. Oh right. <laughs> no, I am not making this up as I go. I guess that doesn't work too well, does it? Holding up instant speed removal against a fairy. <laughs> yeah, a couple of people were like, "You can't hold it." I'm like, "Can't hold it? What are you talking about?" Oh right. Uh, well. I agree. That did not go according to plan. <laughs> yeah, I always forget that too. I know. Teferi's so good. I mean, we just used Teferi quite a bit with that Esper deck. Boo. The one you forget is Narset? Yeah, Narset's a tough one. Um, Tamio. Tamio gets people all the time. He beat us for stacks yesterday with them forgetting about Tamio. Yeah, Tamio is so good against Doom Foretold. <laughs> Doom Foretold's like, sacrifice something, and you're like, and Tamio's like, nah, don't really need to.
I think my opponent's got this one. I think I got this. I think my opponent's got this one. Oh no. Yeah, you take take down yeah, three mana Chandra. I that's one I do all the time. Three mana Chandra into Teferi, where then you don't get to cast your spell. I do that one quite a bit. Darn, no Kaiser out there. <laughs> yeah, Veil of Summer is pretty awesome. I guess Kaya's not the worst, can just exile a zombie token. That's not even great. Let's try this again. We're gonna maybe keep a better hand. Maybe hopefully have a better hand. <clears throat> we got a lot of lands, but no Ashiok yet. Dig for Ashiok. Not Ashiok. Not Ashiok. No. Like the first, if that first hand would have had Ashiok, I would have kept it by mold. I didn't want to go to five, but I, I'm old looking for it. We have four of them in here. Yeah, be, keeping them from being able to search would have been clutch. Ugh. That's why we needed Ashiok. So many cards to search. Okay, well, Legion Sun's not bad. We'll save that for later. We'll hopefully get a, another Black Source here. Start dropping six. Start playing six drops. Oh, no. So many of these things. I mean, I kind of just need removal for Golos, right? Otherwise, they just get to activate Golos. I don't know. Let's let's play this. Truth lies. 
lies beyond vision. <clears throat> so many tokens. The problem with minusing Ugin is that Ugin dies to an attack. That's the problem here with minusing Ugin. Fay of Wishes. It's not good. Fay of Wishes with infinite mana. I'm assuming that they have planar cleansing and that planar cleansing is going to wreck me. I hope they don't. Well, that's kind of my assumption here. Maybe they don't. I assume if they did, that would be a pretty easy play. Chance for glory. I mean that's good that'll that'll do it. Do I have any instant speed card I can find with Citadel to stop Chance for Glory? I don't think so. Yeah, like that's that's gonna do it. They get <clears throat> Six zombies there, another two zombies with the forest. That's got to be really good in, in these Golos mirrors, Chance for Glory. That's got to be a great, a great grab. Yep, it's a... Yep, just search Magic Arena. Just Google search Magic Arena. The, the first thing, that's this game right here. Why not search for Legion? Legion's Ends of Sorcery. I don't get a turn. They they get another turn. They take the next turn. I can't cast the Sorcery. Yeah, yeah, I bet, yeah, I bet Chance for Glory is probably really good in, in mirror matches. Good card there. Okay, we need to draw lands, but I like the rest of the hand. You're not a land. We gotta scry a land to help us look for land also. Okay, maybe this won't work out. I like our hand if we draw a couple lands here. Okay. We're in there. 
were in there, like swimwear. I have not done anything with the Ugin's con Conjurant, no. But we've played... I've, I've played a good amount of the other colorless XX creature. Um, the Stone Coral Serpent. We're getting there. Hey, Mega Genesis. Thanks. Thanks for the kind words and everything. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, let's bell hunt. Whoops. Just regular tie. There you go. All right. Good old Orzov win there. So Rakdos with a bunch of sacrifice stuff. Probably don't want Noxious Grasp or Dispark. We'll take this extra Legion's End. Um, I don't really have other things to play. To be honest, kind of relying on this other stuff. So I think I could just go Duress. Oh, yeah, it's, it's just going to be Duress. Like, Duress is probably going to whiff. Duress probably isn't even that good. But we got... The rest of the stuff looks pretty strong. Gideon is like three mana gain five life. The attacking and all that doesn't matter, but they, they probably like attack Gideon. Now let's just play duresses. We take, you know, three mana Chandra and other stuff. Like three mana Chandra is a card that I, I really that that's a card that I would not like to see. Yeah, we could hit Witch's Oven. We could we could duress their duress. I do have Murderous Rider that can give Chandra a swift end <clears throat> if we need to. So, like, if you kind of see, like, the cards in hand, even though, like, our sideboard isn't great in this matchup, I kind of feel like we have enough cards for the matchup just kind of in general. Like, if if you're playing this deck later and if, if you don't think you, we have enough cards for the matchup, the sideboard could definitely play some Devout Decrees. For <clears throat> red and black aggro decks, if you, because you know to be able to replace those uh, disparks and noxious grasps that are dead cards, you, you could certainly play devout decrees. A Duress would be bad here, taking Kai's Wrath. That would be bad. My plan, of course, is just to kill that thing. Kai's Wrath next turn. <laughs> A silly shirt stream? Mm. Right, so without me. At least they're not going to use the Remodi Reveler. I brought company. I'm late to meditation anyway. <clears throat> so going this route. For a, 
for a few reasons. I'll have to order 20. Let me pick your brain for Um By doing that it you know incentivizes my opponent not to play more creatures. We don't have to shock. Hey, we found a good use for the duress. We can discard it to Davriel. See? Dress is awesome. Empty your mind. I wonder if that last card in hand is removal. I guess we could find out. Yeah, the, the MC or the metagame challenges, 2Ds or donation decks. Boom. Yeah, metagame challenge was just a weekend event thing. All right, good clean win. Four is off control, and we're two and one. Moving on to round number four. So, how's everybody? Everybody's weekend been? Unfortunately, we have, you know, tomorrow's Monday. Tried so hard and got so far. So five drop, six drop, six drop, four, five, four, five, six, six with two lands, no scry land. We're going to mulligan that. It's Canadian Thanksgiving tomorrow? That's awesome. What's Canadian Thanksgiving like? I don't know enough about Canadian Thanksgiving. Thoughts on Field of the Dead? It's really powerful. Is it just like America Thanksgiving? Like with a whole bunch of turkey and Stuffing and mashed potatoes, green beans. <laughs> Instead of saying thanks, we say sorry. <laughs> it's it pretty Canadian. Okay, it's because your harvest is a bit earlier. Well, it looks like Noxious Grasp is dead. The spark's not looking so hot right now either. Um, I, I don't know if we're doing. Probably not doing a, a T-shirt stream. With the courage to apply it. Let me synthesize the facts. I own a lot of ties somewhere in the I don't know um, somewhere in like the 50 to 70 range I kind of go, as far as like tie shirt combos, I basically go, you know, like whatever shirt, you know, whatever is like kind of clean next up in the. <clears throat> they drew all four Arcanists. Next up in the closet, all that kind of stuff. 
and then I, I I basically like pick out the shirt first, and then I pick out a tie that goes along with it. That was a pretty good Legion's end. Ooh. <laughs> Get rid of that wishing well. This time. I am the master here. Do I minus just to get rid of this Pyromancer so they don't do three damage to something? Then I also draw two cards. <laughs> Rise and shine. <laughs> Minus all day. Yeah, I guess my opponent was maybe scared of Othakaya. Darkua with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much. Yeah, I had two mana open, but I also have uh, Citadel. Hmm. I'm gonna make myself scarce. By not minusing the Liliana, I can st I can like Kaya's Wrath here and gain a bunch of life. Ooh, yeah. To be able to help out Citadel even more. Kind of want to tick up first. Sure. We gain four. Good health is easy to find in war. And draw four. I'll find it. Waste not. They were a lousy servant anyway. Okay. Oh yeah, I guess I could have I could have attacked with the life linker because th that's right they have O fours. I kind of yeah I was kind of just not really thinking of them as O fours at the time. <clears throat> so noxious grasp was dead. Dispark doesn't hit very much stuff. Duress seems to hit a lot of stuff. Legion's end seems to hit you know, like dreadhorde arcanist and that's it. Or like all those tokens, but we got sweepers. All right, let's try this. No, Citadel, Citadel's been awesome for us. Yeah, Citadel has been has been really really good for us. It's not it's it has not seemed like it um, too punishing with life total wise. Like we have cast. A good amount of six drops from Citadel, even. <laughs> Board in Island in our set. Fast. Yeah, that was just a, a sound bug. Splish splash sound bug. Exiling that wishing well was pretty cool.
Make a 1-1. One -one. Okay. <clears throat> the Royal Scions. You'd better hope you delay our quest no further. My plan is crystallizing. My thoughts were too frozen to win. Please, no more Rose Ions. That card's really good. You can open up Royal Scions in packs also. It was part of the set. So yeah, you can craft them or open them in packs. Or, you know, get them in draft and stuff like that. It's a, it's a mythic, so you know, it doesn't show up very often at all. I don't like how fast they scryed that to the top. Yeah, I can I can certainly see how that would be confusing how there are some cards that are only craftable. I'm willing, so focus on what matters. Synthesize the facts. If there's one card in their deck that's going to win, it's this card. Like, I don't, I don't think there's anything else that I'm scared of in their whole deck. This is the card that's, that's going to beat me. Wish we could just spark it. Knock, just grasp it. Ooh, Murderous Rider it. I will learn what nobody yet knows. The first Cruel Henge deck, yeah, we just we lost to Simic Flash our first round in the myth in the uh, metagame challenge and tried and played it again and got to four one, so it did really good the second time. So this this will help you know if they they can you know attack down Liliana with, with these one ones, but it triggers Othakaya, so it helps keep us alive. <laughs> uh, they have they have Blue Cavalier that we could dispark. I assume they have Crackling Drake also. We saw Blue Cavalier. I don't really have other things to put in the deck. Over to Spark. <laughs> no, Dispark's not great. This looks like a fun new toy. 
take three, go to ten. I put all the dresses in. All the dresses are in the deck right now. <sighs> yeah, so like Legion's End would be the other card. So yeah, I could have played Legion's End instead of Dispark. Legion's End is kind of only for like these little these little things, and I already have a, I already have a bunch of sweepers. So that's how it is. I thought it'd be hard like harder to deal with Cavalier Knight or sorry Cavalier of Gales I am than deal with these one ones. So they're playing all the shocks still. This matchup, they've cast three shocks already. Like, we're out racing these 1 1s. Especially with the help of both Kaya. You would have killed the Alliance. I like I like getting another 2 2 in play, getting an Othakaya trigger. It doesn't kill my Ugin, and I also, you know, gain card advantage. The alliance is whatever. No, whatever. By the whatever, I mean not good enough. By plusing, we get to like activate Ugin twice. If we minus, we're only activating once. All right, GG's. We're three and one. Hmm. I like double Skrylance. Let's give it a try. Let's hopefully, hopefully our opponent's playing a bunch of creatures. It's a land. Green decks usually play a bunch of creatures. All right, QQ, have a good night. Mana creatures are great. I love it. More mana creatures. Oh, what if they go triple mana creature here? That'd be pretty good. Yeah. Not enough mana creatures. So yeah, just taking the two for one before they start playing. Before they start playing food. Getting food tokens out there and then I can't kill this wicked wolf. The brambles of truth twirl and curl, choking out lies. So I need a sixth mana. Your new look is enchanting. Oh, your expectations are exhausting. All right, we'll just keep the murderous rider there. Cavalier Thorns. So good. Hmm. I need to find my six drops.
created magnificent world. Don't like my chances here. I still think I have six loyalty. Yeah, I played I played Rider there and set a bell hunt so I could mortify the Cavalier. Well, that's good for me. That Agent Treachery could be could have been a whole lot worse. Where's our six drops? Where's our six drops? My rider was tapped. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I could not block with rider. It was tapped. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I didn't say fair. I grace you with my lack time. of presence. Bravo. Uh, Kaya cannot get rid of lands. Kaya is does non land permanence. Revel with your king, wild and sovereign. Oko, are you free. kidding me? Can we just draw one of our six drops, please? Yes, technically, can we draw a bullet to Citadel that then hits a bunch of stuff? <laughs> I think a little merriment is in order. Kaya can get rid of food tokens. Be wary of the ground you walk on. But yeah, so it's exile target non land permanent. Doesn't even care about Kaya. Hmm. All right, so I ditched three lands earlier to Doom Whisper. So we've seen 11 lands and 19 cards. Technically 11 and 20, because we know the Murder Strider is down to the bottom. So if we do hit, sit, like there's there's 25 in the deck, so there's only 14 more in the next 40. <clears throat> so first third of our deck. That's so many. Really? Crisis? Uh. <laughs> Can we just draw a citadel? They get to just top deck Oko and then Krasis. 
Uh, we were doing so good two turns ago. By so good, I mean a lot better than this. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. I'm gone for now, but not forever. Well, Kai's Wrath keeps the Nissa from ultimating. Knocks them back down to just four mana. But of course, they have the Great Henge also. I mean, it does, yeah, like they have they have infinite cards now because of the Graces, so. Welcome to the feast. Even. Okay. Okay. It's a real thing. Recklessness and fear are the seeds of disaster. I'm not sure which one I should destroy, Oko or Great Henge. It's Great Henge. Bathe in ghost fire. They could easily have another Oko in hand or another Great Henge in hand. Either way. Ether itself serves me. This seems like a really, really difficult matchup for us. Oh dear. I, don't, I don't know how this is. <laughs> I don't know how we're winning this. And after sideboarding. Seems really difficult with especially how they're playing a bunch of agent of treacheries. And the Great Henge. So we're gonna have four Noxious Grass, four to Spark. I mean heck, I could try. I could try to Ashiok and mill him out. <laughs> That doesn't sound like that great of an idea. Yeah, and now they get Veil of Summer and Counter Magic. So like it, it just gets a lot worse for us. I think Othakaya and Basilica Bellhaunt are like two of my weaker cards. I'm going to play the Gideons. I'm going to cut Bellhaunt and Othakaya. Oh, yeah, they have Cavalier. They just have everything. Oh yeah, like we're we're basically a mono black deck splash white. So Veil of Summer stops everything. Yeah, Veil of Summer stops everything. It's a good hand though. Good hand. All right, let's go, Gideon. I march into battle as your champion of justice. Prepare for battle. I'm certain you're quite charmed to meet me. One uh, night. Quite the contrary, honestly. Your 
light will cleave the darkness. Oko has so much loyalty. He can't even, like, not even coming close to killing it with Gideon. Not even close. Alright, so haven't drawn a land yet. So we missed our land drop already. At least Legion's End is great. I believe in you. Yeah. That's what we call a jackpot. <laughs> they have questing beasts too? Uh, so much for Gideon being a good plan. Turn six, still have three lands. My strength gave out. <laughs> it's like Simic, Simic gets to do that. It's like. What's the best possible card for me to draw right here? Oh, Questing Beast? Okay. Well, now there's only a Questing Beast in the deck. I don't even know if there was a Questing Beast in the deck before that. Who knows? That's... That's fun. What a fair card. I have, I have 25 lands. That's lethal. This land, we are all, connected. Bleh. all right, well, still good league. So that looked like a pretty bad matchup, but obviously on three cards, on three lands. You know, we kept a three lander. Our draw steps, you know, like we drew Liliana, uh, Kaya's Wrath, Kaya's Wrath, Doom Whisper. You know, we just drew all sorts of things. There were way more than three lands. Still a good, a good league, a good day of streaming here. Been on for almost nine hours now. So that's going to be it for me tonight. Wars off Control kind of did our thing. You know, this is a donation deck. You know, saying the the thing about this deck was build a deck, uh, build an Wars off Control with Citadel and Ugin. And I think we did a really good job of that. I think our, our deck played pretty well here. Um... Yeah, so I like I like it there. Hey, what's up, Squid? GG's there. GG's. Um, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, uh, let me know what you think of the deck. You know, if you're trying it out and everything, um, you know, let me know how how it's going for you. All the the card choices and everything. Um, think there's anything that uh, could help the deck with with Orzov control there, but. Um, yeah, it, it honestly played really well. I really liked how this deck played. Yes, Simic is, you know, that's just a, a deck that's going to destroy us. But, oh well, that's life. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got here for us of control, though. So, thank you so much for watching the video, and I'll see you for the next one.